Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another episode of Terra Tech. So, why am I at this menu? Why am I? Why am I watching things blow up in the intro screen? Well, oh, it's not continue play. That's totally the wrong button. This brings us back into the world we are in. Oh, my vehicle is not thrown upside down. Usually they are. Uh, we wanted to go to no. Save and quit. Yes, we want to do that. We want to go to the research and development. So, for those of you who are not aware, the game has a kind of an open research and development thing. And I need to start a new one. There it is. Research and development test chamber. So, I'm going to start new. So, the plan of this episode is to combine both of the last two episodes into one. This is an awesome room, by the way. Uh, you got everything. Unlimited everything. And then you can save it with that little snapshot button. And then you can import that into your into your main game. So you can have all sorts of things here and you can play around with it, mess around with it, and then take the picture and then bring that into your game. And then you can play with it into your survival game. Or it's not really survival, it's more of open world game. The developers do not really like the term survival because it's not really not really a Minecrafty sort of game. But in a way it, it is. So we're gonna we're gonna play around. Uh, we're gonna combine the last two episodes where we made the hovercraft. I wanted to learn a little bit about the hovercraft and do some stuff with uh, wings and see if we can get the hovercraft to fly. Now I've kind of tested this out, got a concept theory of concept, but this is totally not what I've been what I've been practicing. I'm thinking this may work, but I'm not positive that it will. So we'll just mess around and we'll have some fun and see what we can do. So first off, there is the basic hover plate, right? It hovers, you can't control it. It just is what it is. So next up, if we put, say we put this down the middle. Wait, that's not right. If we put, uh, ooh, I like it. So if we put these down the middle, what these do, actually we can just test it out. Let's restart, start new. If we, if we use those backwards, and we can try this, I think. If we do, uh, let's do one of these up front, one of these in the back, and then some of these quick wheels. Do a bunch of these quick wheels, I think it'll work. It's a real light weight, oh, we don't need that many, we only need four. Okay, so we got four, watch how fast this thing is, see? It's really quick, turns really fast, it's quick. Um, I can go backwards. Like, this is kind of what I used before to make that 500 mile per hour one. Something similar to this, and I can just click the button and go home. But if we put on these these foils and put it in the back, what a typical vehicle is, kind of looks like like this a little bit. Like a, a racing vehicle. That's not the one. Let's see. Right, there it is, right there. That's kind of what a racing vehicle looks like. So what are they called? Uh, sprint cars? And then you can do that, and it keeps it down, and you see it's got like a little speed wobble going on. Uh, so we could just use that to get going really fast. You can see the wheels are kind of straining. But the thing is, if I take this and I turn it around, watch what kind of instability it gets. And if I take this off, put this on the front. See how much harder it is to control? And then if I hit the sprint, oh, it doesn't quite get off the ground. Uh, they should get off the ground a little bit. Maybe if I put a second one on there, it will. Let's try that. It is. You have to flip it around backwards. Wait a minute. It probably would have worked without that. Maybe. There we go. See? We're flying! We're flying with just a car. We don't have too much, but it still works. So, if we use these backwards, we might be able to get something really, really, really cool with our... our uh, our floaty tech that we made before. And let's jump into the build mode here so it doesn't float away on us. And we'll try it. We'll see what happens. I always like how that's the center of gravity. It keeps right in the, the center of gravity of the thing. And if you move around, if you put something somewhere else, see how it moves and it updates? That's really cool. Okay, so we just have a regular flat hover pad here. It doesn't do too much, but it has a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a rocket on the back of it and we can hit build mode there and then we can try something so I've put these on the sides how many of these will it take to get off the ground 
I don't know. Go away there. I don't think this will work. I bet if I put... We could try putting the wheels on it. That'll prevent it from bouncing so much. I need to go home. <laughs> like, don't. Is that the other wheel? Oh, man. I'm surprised I found that way back there. So if I try this... We're driving a little bit. This isn't going to work very well. We might pick up speed. Eventually we might get there. But let's see what happens if we put on like a whole bunch of these. And all we need to do is just click through them real quick. Oops. Would you stop moving? This guy, you tell it to stop moving and it just never listens. Alright. So now... It's still not really working very well. It's still kind of hovering. Look at those wheels. They're like, I want to touch the ground, but I can't. So let's go home. And we're going to rip the wheels off. We're going to try something a little bit different. And that is, we're going to put on some of these turbines. So we're going to get additional thrust. Like that. Like that. They like that. Turbines. Some people call it turbine. And then post in the comments that it's turbine and not turbine. Turbine is what you wear on your head. Turbine is what goes in the engine. I don't care. They're both the same thing to me. Regional dialects are an interesting thing. Okay. So, look at this. And a little bit of, a little bit of boost and it doesn't quite get off the ground, but we're we're flying really high and I think we can turn as well. Look at that. Ooh. It's awesome. And there's jumps. Check this out. We're going to try taking on a jump. Can almost guarantee that it won't work. It's going to probably run into it. But the jump, maybe. Oh, almost. Hey, look at this. We're kind of flying. But I can't control it. And it tips up. So, let's try putting some wings on this thing and see what we can do. I think it's this wing for this side. It's backwards from what you'd want it to be. Okay, we got three and three. This still may not work. Might not have enough. And then might not have enough force forward. We might need a few more other things. I wanted to put in one of the vertical wings for two in the middle. Just to give me a little more help. Might be too much weight eventually, but we can add a third row onto this thing. And I think it'd work out pretty nicely. So let's try this. I'll see how much weight we've got. We're squatting real low. Okay. Oh, it's so close. It is so close. And I can turn real easily. What happens if I take it on one of those big jumps? I'm a lot faster now. We might be able to we might be able to get a little bit of flight. We can be like the Wright brothers. Okay, it's up. Yeah! I got there. I'm flying. We're flying. Woohoo! So can we do an, a takeoff? Is there a way to do a takeoff without this thing? How about a, a big rolling, rolling turn? Yeah. That's awesome. Come on. Uh-oh. Now the problem is going to be landing this pig, too. It's a pig. Can we land it, like, in the... Oops, wrong button. Can we land it? Yeah, look how long it takes to land. But once we get it, I mean, we can kind of circle it down in, in one little square here without going into the other squares. I mean, see? See? We stopped. We didn't go into any other squares. We landed specifically in... No, nope, never mind. <laughs> this thing's going to be so hard to land on a on the roof of our base. Let's go back home and see if we can get this thing to work just on its own. Let's add two more of these in. I'm going to take you back. And I'm going to put in this thing right there. And we're going to put in you right there. I feel like I need the extra thrust. I'm not sure if I do, though. And the extra lift. It's going to be a little difficult to do. But I think we can get it. Okay, and then we'll put the wing over here. Like so. And like so. Again, I've not tested this specific design out. We're kind of just playing it by ear here. 
because that's what makes it fun. If I wanted to make a tutorial, I would. So that's everything. I guess we could put another of those wings on. I'm wondering if I shouldn't just put one in the back and throw these other two away. I feel like they're not totally necessary. And they're extra weight. Okay, we're faster, and we're up. We actually made it... Oh, are we... Are we in the sky? Not quite. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Get there. Get up. Okay, what happens if I put more thrust on the back of this thing? And I think... Oh, nope, it goes away. If you get too far away, that these things despawn. So what happens if I put more of these on the back? Not like that. If it can get me in the air, then we can do well. Maybe if I just do this and put in a... Put in just a little fuel tank. Give me a little extra boost for a little longer. What are you doing? Go the other way. That. All right, let's see how this goes. So we're going to get up to max speed using just the turbines. Oh, that did it. We did it. We're off the ground. <gasps> it's not, not crazy fast. And I can't really, I can't really level it. Oh, I can level it out. Oh, we made a plane. We made a plane. Now, oh, this is not good. This thing's gonna be quite expensive, and I don't have near—I don't have any money because we we drained it all last episode. Oh, so cool! Can we go straight up? I guess we might need to go into the. Wow, this thing goes straight up. This needs an alt. Oh wait, hold on. There's two new parts. See, the other things are gone now. There's supposed to be an altimeter and a, a mile per hour emitter. Somewhere. What's that called? Speedometer, not a parameter. It doesn't make any sense. It's it'd be an experimental here, I think. What's this? Speedometer. Okay. Uh-huh. 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 Please tell me that you are one of those things. Tell me altimeter. Okay. Hundred? Ninety? Evidently the altimeter is not working. Either that or we're not high enough yet. So it's kind of slow. It's kind of big and bulky and slow. But we're still going up. Now what happens if we go up and then down? Big old dive bomb. It's kind of cool. It's still real slow. Haha, <laughs> so nice. Yeah, looks like it's about a hundred mile per hour plane. It's kind of cool. It's really, really easy to control too. What happens if we put some guns on it? Can we put guns on it? Okay, we need to take the altimeter and barometer off since one doesn't even work. And if I sell this, actually, yeah, we'll get rid of them. If I sell it, then it's not going to work at all. Uh, this, we don't really need weapons on this one. We'll try. See if we can get it off the ground. Uh, what do we want? Ooh, I have an idea. Okay. And then, oh, it does fire. Eh, a little bit. Yeah. That's kind of cool. It's like a carpet bomber or something. I could make more of them. I could put at least one more in. Huh. Wow. This thing's cool. So, I think I like it. You guys will have to tell me what you think. You like this? Think it's cool? Should I make any changes to it? I kind of, I don't know really what I could make for changes. But, um, if you have any ideas, let me know and see what I can include. Let's put this back in at home. I'm going to take that gun off the front just because I feel like it's not really necessary. 
Uh, we'll put this back on here just for the sake of it. And we're going to take a picture. So it's going to be the uh, hover plane. My caps lock is on. Hover plane. Any? Yeah, not the other plane. The hover plane. Tweet it. No. Okay. So if I take that and I go back into... Um, quit. Yes. And I go back into the main game. We should be able to look at the text. So if I continue play and we go back to the 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 survival world, I guess it is. We can go check out. Hey, little bunny, how are you? I really wish things would despawn a little better. Uh, here it is. Why is that not down? Let's go to Tex. So now we can take Tex. There it is, right there. So fifty-seven thousand money to bring it into this game. Oh, that's terrible. Maybe we can try building it here. Huh. That's hard. We might have to we might have to make a a resource gathering vehicle. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, anyway, some of you guys had suggested. Oh, what is this? Is our that's the actual other plane? Hmm. Okay, maybe do some reworks to that too. Didn't quite hover like I wanted it to. We did learn some valuable things out of that other. That other adventure, though. Like, first off, this is backwards, isn't it? One of these is. Okay, now they're fine. Let's try it again. No. I like this thing. It's kind of a cool little tech. What happens if we switch? Does it continue to coast? Oh, it does. That's cool. Okay, so you guys have been suggesting that maybe I put like the shields on the the shields on the top here and the repair bubbles on the bottom. I like that idea. We can still put our, our weapons on the outside. The only problem is we can't do it at the corners. That'd be okay. And I, I'm I'm thinking I don't need them in every spot because you see the bubbles overlap a little bit. So if I moved you, so that's still kind of. Kind of has everything, uh, but I, you know, it, it doesn't really matter that much since there's so many of them out there. So I guess let's let's try to kill some stuff. Should we should we kill some stuff? I think so. Try to kill some stuff, get some more shield bubbles. I think you now the mobile bases like that one over there are a little bit better at killing. This little guy isn't so much here. Oh, that was an invasion. Forgot about that. Well, we can take them out. That's a thousand money. And I forgot this guy goes faster backwards, doesn't he? Okay. Ha! <laughs> That's awesome. What you got for you? There, get attacked. That was a hard invasion. Yay! We defeated him! Okay, where well, did you leave me anything? Eh, this is going to be very di What's that? I was going to say it's going to be very difficult to get anything cool out of this. Until something like that spawns and all it is is shield bubbles and weird stuff. And now it's nighttime. Great. Nighttime's hard to see in this game. I don't run. Oh, that's the same guy. This guy's got a lot of different vehicles in the game. What is that? I don't see anything neat here. There's a fuel tank. Oh, kaboom! Yeah, one of them. Did you see that? What, what just happened? Okay, it looks like we got one healing bubble out of it. So yeah, it's gonna take a long time to farm these up unless we make a big old tank. And I think we've learned a lot from uh making these vehicles. Maybe we'll make a giant tank next time uh, based on the big yellow blocks and see what we can do. Because we know how to use these shields now. Um, we can kind of take a lot of the shields and if we make money... Like these things, they sell really good. Why are you attached to the bottom? What is that? Ooh. Ooh. What's this? Go away. I don't care about you right now. Hee. <laughs> 
only bad thing is this draws down a lot of power. Oh, there's a guy. He's got to have some good stuff on him. Don't worry, my gun's better than yours, and I have a shield. And you don't. Actually, you probably do. You have a gyro. No. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. You don't have any shields. Ah, how good are you? Want shields, buddy. Now you ran away. Let's go attack that giant guy over there. I'm going to hold this so it doesn't drain my battery too far. Let's see if we can get any shields. I like these big long blocks. They're only a thousand, though. So we don't really need to play with them too much. And we'll just throw this on the back now. And it'll take you out. Hopefully you got some good stuff. Yeah, this is the fireworks machine. Don't get me wrong. That's pretty awesome. It's more of like shock and awe, though. Just confuses you. Did I kill it? I can't see. Did I, I think I did. Er, nope, nope. Man. Okay, let's grab that. We'll grab this, and I guess we'll, we'll be done a little bit early tonight. Today, this morning, this afternoon, whatever you are. Pretty much the longest GSO block around. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed kind of a, a different episode today. Kind of like mixing it up a little bit to keep you guys on your toes, and just to add some fun into it. We can't just make a base over and over and over every every level. Um, I mean, we, we could, but that's not too much fun. So what I think I'm going to do next time... Yeah, maybe. So we don't really have any of the blocks. Maybe we can pick up some. Grab a lot of these. And, oh man, they got a lot of five violent blocks in there. Nice. Oh, I got four of them. These things are kind of rare. I do like them, though. Good. Um, we need to make, like, a refinery. We also need to make a giant tank. So I'm not sure which one I want to do first. Maybe you guys could let me know down in the comments. Which would you rather see? A giant tank? or a refinery to make money so we can get our, our hover plane in the game. Or if you have any ideas too on what you'd like to see, um, what you'd like to see for different vehicles that I want to make, that you want me to make, go ahead and let me know and I will do the best I can. So, give your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. And actually, I have a lot of different bubbles over there that I can transfer over to this one too. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do that off camera. Okay, bye.